Iraq Crisis, 279 Islamic militants killed in 24 hours, John Kerry says U.S. help will only work if Iraqi leaders unite. Iraqi forces have killed 279 militants in 24 hours, as they push back against a major militant offensive, a security spokesman has said. Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki's security spokesman, Lieutenant General Kasimita, made the announcement during a televised news conference. The defensive against the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS, comes after U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said U.S. assistance to repel the militant advance, would only work if Iraqi leaders overcame deep divisions. Mr. Kerry spoke with Iraqi Foreign Minister Hoshia Zibari about providing assistance in fighting the ISIS jihadists, who have gained control of several cities in the past week, the State Department said in a statement. He emphasized to the Foreign Minister that assistance from the United States would only be successful if Iraqi leaders were willing to put aside differences and implement a coordinated and effective approach to forge the national unity necessary to move the country forward and confront the threat of ISIS, the statement said. Mr Kerry also urged Iraq to quickly ratify the results of recent elections and to form a new government. In the crucial belt of territory north and northeast of Baghdad where the predominantly Sunni militants have penetrated within striking distance of the capital, government forces are pushing back. With Shiite militias fighting alongside security forces against the militants, the struggle has taken on a strong sectarian dimension. Last week, the Iraqi parliament failed to convene for a vote on declaring a state of emergency due to a boycott by most Sunni and Kurdish politicians. The Iraqi Foreign Ministry said in a statement that Mr Kerry pledged $12 million in assistance and stressed that Baghdad should assure its neighbors the war is not sectarian, but against the insurgents. U.S. President Barack Obama said on Friday he was reviewing military options, short of sending troops, to combat the insurgency. The U.S. moved an aircraft carrier into the Gulf on Saturday readying it in case Washington decides to pursue a military option after insurgents overran areas in the north and advanced on Baghdad. Nine killed in Baghdad suicide blast, concerns were heightened after a bombing in central Baghdad killed nine people and wounded 23 on Sunday, security and medical officials said. An interior ministry official said the attack was a roadside bomb, while a police colonel said the initial blast was followed by a suicide bombing. Medical staff waited near stretches on the sidewalk in front of one hospital in central Baghdad, on which casualties from the blast were placed and wheeled inside, an AFP journalist said. The street was closed to all traffic but ambulances. The attack comes after the offensive by ISIS seemed to slow on Saturday following days of lightning advances as government forces regained some territory in counterattacks, easing pressure on the Shiite-led government in Baghdad. Thousands of people responded to a call by Iraq's most influential Shiite cleric to take up arms and defend the country against the insurgency.